Hey folks, picked up this fancy little probe from Drewtronics. It's an S5000, so it does plug into the accessory port. Um, just want to take you through setting this up. We'll do the reference height, uh, I'll check concentricity on it, we'll do the length offset, and then uh, do the effective tip diameter, get it all set up, and then we're going to practice with it because never used one on a Tormac. So here we go. All right, we're just going to dial in the concentricity, get it as low as possible. All right, there's our reference height off of this. Right, Chum? We want to set, hit the set reference height button with it on tool zero. Install our probe. Close. Enter 99 in the tool DRO. We're going to check settings as it is a make sure we have the probe set correctly. Okay. And this is a passive probe for those that are interested. There we go. All right, first we set the reference height. Then I installed the probe, made sure that it was set to a passive probe, even triggered it, made sure it worked over here. Then I hit move and set probe length, and we should have, there we go. We don't have a diameter in here yet, we're fixing to do that, but there's our probe length. Back to here, and now we're gonna work on the probe diameter. All right, now with that precision reamed hole, we'll measure that, it'll tell us the tip diameter. that was using this last tap here. Enter the diameter of the hole, which preferably we would use a ring gauge, but I don't have one, so I will have one in the future. Uh, you just enter that number, put the tip in the hole, hit move and set tip diameter, and it runs through these different speeds, and uh, it'll measure out your effective tip diameter. And then once you go to offsets, there you go, you have your tip diameter set in there. Well, all right, folks, hope you enjoyed it. That was uh, different for me. Don't forget to uh, click in the right spot. Don't forget to set up your probe. And then, uh, then use it. If you don't set it up right, especially on Z, you'll squish it. 
I do look forward to using some of the more advanced features, finding pockets and whatnot, and uh, maybe integrating the ETS a little more often to my work setups. I've been measuring my tools offline, so nah, it's the way it is. But I like it. Not bad for 250 bucks or so. Uh, time will tell. I'm going to use it a little more, give a little follow-up on it after the fact. But uh, yeah, so far, I mean, it might replace the Heimer and might be a good choice for folks that don't want to invest the $350, $400 in a Heimer. Uh, you know, I still got mine if I need it, if this breaks, but uh, th this, this seems a lot quicker. Get it close, hit the button, and it, it does it for you. So, fun times to come. Thanks, folks. See you later.